We are in the Mathare slum, Nairobi, Kenya. It's one of the largest slums in the world. And they don't have access to pretty much any healthcare at all. So by having this camp, we're able to provide much needed medical services. The type of patients that we're seeing are people that desperately need some sort of health care. We're doing two different things. One, we're providing a service to the impoverished populations here in the slums of Nairobi. And then two, specifically, we're here to provide a service to our Citadel pre-health students. They're coming from exercise science, biology, nursing, and basically we're giving them an experience of a lifetime that they couldn't really get in the U.S. Being here, I've gotten so many more experiences, I think, than I could have possibly ever imagined. Here we've got dental, we have a pharmacy that we're able to work in, we're working with the triage department, we're working with different physicians, and so you're getting to see multiple different people in multiple different fields and get those experiences, whereas back home it's kind of harder to obtain those experiences. The Citadel being able to come here is an invaluable experience for the students, but that we're also being able to help so many people who never would have medical care. Like we're treating like 300 people a day who never would have been able to see medical care and who knows how long their ailments would have lasted or how bad they could have gotten. It's very rare or very difficult for a lot of cadets to get experiences outside of Charleston, outside of the campus, outside of the state. So the fact that we can bring them into a different country, immerse them into a whole different culture is absolutely unique. We learned that servant leadership is imperative um, to becoming a better leader and serving others through that. So it's important that we come here and we serve others in the medical community so that way as eventual officers in the Army, medical personnel, we've already seen um, the minimum work that is required to do that. The Citadel is all about leadership and um, is all about taking a different perspective and how we lead and I think this is a great way. When we're in class, you know, you can read out of the book, you can sit through as many PowerPoints, you can go to labs, but nothing compares to what we're doing here right now. I think this is the pinnacle uh, of my Citadel education here, going through and uh, um, being able to apply some of the things that we learn in the classroom um, and to see some real-life examples and there's no better real-life example than this study abroad. Experiential learning is beyond anything we could ever provide in the United States. This is not just developing um, everything educationally healthcare wise but just developing them as great human beings. I mean just being here you see these really fantastic people that are so proud of their culture and just, you know, so grateful for what little that they have. But just to be able to be here and to help them out and to kind of contribute to this wonderful community. I feel that we have one of the greatest teams in the history of the Citadel. Uh, every single student has proven to be worthy of being here. They are so passionate, so empathetic. Um, I'm just so proud of these students. To see them succeed and be happy now, we know, both Dr. Amon and myself, that they're going to be great in the future, they're going to succeed in the future, and this experience is definitely going to help them along that journey. I want to be a psychologist. When I graduate, I want to go into medical school and hopefully um, go into the field of orthopedics. I want to be a pediatric nurse at MUSC. My goal is to be a trauma surgeon in the Air Force. My career goal is to go to medical school and ultimately become a pediatrician. I'm going to school to be a physical therapist. I hope to go to PA school for the Army. I'll be applying to dental school. I want to apply to med school to become a uh, surgeon. The plan right now is to graduate, become a civilian nurse. So the impact is not just on the Citadel students, but I can honestly say we're literally saving lives here and it wouldn't have been able to happen without the amount of funding that we have.